Mike here from Street Effects and we have just been given some awesome news today. Judy Auto Garage called and they said that our white Supra, yes we've got two of them now, our white one is now about to go on the dyno. There's been some issues with uh, some wiring because we uh, changed uh, one of the connectors to a mil spec type. Uh, explain that a little bit later on. But uh, it's been about three months since that car's been driven so a fair bit behind schedule on that one unfortunately. But today we're going to throw it on the dyno, see what sort of power it makes now. It's got a bigger turbo, um, heaps of work done to it. Uh, injectors, intake, new intercooler, new radiator. The list goes on and on. Off we go, GD Auto Garage, next stop, Supra time. All right, here we are. This is the Street FX Supra. This is WTF 2J. So this is our white one. Our gray one is pretty much stock compared to this. So this is the one we've been working on for a while. Now, this one has a Haltech ECU. The exhaust side, uh, we have the Garrett GTX 3584RS2 turbo sitting on top of a six boost manifold. Thanks very much to six boost and GCG who supplied the turbo. Um, we've got turbo smart 60 millimeter wastegate, a turbo smart blower valve over here, turbo smart fuel pressure regulator. We have a Hypertune intake manifold, Hypertune fuel rail, 2200cc, Bosch injectors. Um, we have a Hypertune massive front mount. So this is a big four inch thick front mount. We've got all those Wiggins clamps, which unfortunately are very expensive, but they look pretty cool and they're uh, very secure once they're on there. But HKS cam gears, HKS timing belt. Um, now along the top here, you will notice that factory, they weren't a sequential ignition system. So they only had three coil packs. These have been changed to six R35 GDR core packs. Now those are on a custom billet uh, bracket, thanks to Southam Engineering. And that meant that uh, that's primarily one of the big delays that we've had, because we had to rewire a lot of what we'd done before. So I had to do a fair bit of extra wiring. It's not finished yet, but you can see we've got a billet Southam Engineering um, plate there that allows us to run a mil spec connector front and rear, so going through the firewall. That makes things far neater. So this engine uh, is basically stock. The bottom end is completely stock. It had good compression before we started doing any modifications. I said I wasn't gonna get carried away with this car, but I kind of got a little bit carried away. I didn't build the bottom end because obviously everyone knows two JZs are indestructible. Not so much, I mean, they can blow up, but let's hope that we don't blow this one up. So the so bottom end's totally stock. Um, the top end, so the head was rebuilt by Next Level Motorsport. It has Kelford cams, which are a 272, 278. Uh, they have 9.95 millimeters of lift. Uh, they are more of a race cam. Didn't really need anything that big for this because I'm not really racing it. It's more of a street car. But obviously, you never know. One day, maybe I will want to get a little bit more out of it. Also, you'll notice that this radiator, we've got a PWR radiator. This is a first of this particular generation of radiator from PWR. Has two nice big fans on the back there. The catch can was made up here at GT Auto Garage, custom to fit that little corner there. Now suspension, we've got MCA coilovers, and on top of those, we've got air cups from Stance Parts, which allow us to rise the front and back of the car around two inches. We're gonna do a video dedicated to just that. In the back, we've got a Cusco two-way LSD, thanks to Car Mods Australia. Rear brakes are stock, but as you'll see up the front, we've got a set of AP racing brakes, thanks to 999 Automotive. Now the tires, we have uh, R888 R's. And of course, the biggest thanks on this, um, we are obviously at GT Auto Garage. These guys have done an awful amount of work on this car. So, now, to put it all to the test, we're gonna run on the dyno and see how much power we can actually get out of this baby. The most we got out of it previously, so stock, it made 340 horsepower at the wheels. Um, it had, uh, it was stock, but it had done the big turbo. I know, semantics, whatever, so it wasn't quite stock anymore. Standard boost, though. Uh, then we put the Haltech ECU on, uh, made 450 horsepower at the wheels. Uh, then we took it down to the quarter mile, we ran a 12.1. Now that all this work's done, I'm hoping that we can get it into the 10s, because, you know, as uh, Vin Diesel says, you owe me a 10 second car, and I think I've put enough money into this to have achieved a 10 second car. So, like I said, let's get on the dyno and uh, see how much power we can get down with all these mods.
603 horsepower. That's the right for 98. That'll, that'll do. Alright, so that's 604 horsepower so far on 22 pound. Um, stock bottom end, so we're not going to push any further on 98 fuel. Uh, now I'm just going to run down to the shop and go grab some E85. Uh, maybe run a little bit more boost, a bit more timing, and uh, see if we can get close to the 700 horsepower, maybe 750. Alright, right, we got five of our cars here at GD Auto at the moment. So while we're waiting between Dyna runs, we're at the moment we're going to put in uh, some E85 in it. So I'll show you some of our other cars. This is our 1300 horsepower R35 powered Toyota 86. Got a RX-7 in the build over there. We've got our 32 GDR here. And behind it is our SQ-5 getting a roadway. And uh, the Super, of course, on the dyno. Alright, so now we've cleaned out as much of the 98 as we can. We're going to put some of the E85 in. We've got diluted down for as minimal 98 as possible. Probably won't get it all the way down to the 85, but it's still be the 70 or something. so far. over 33 pounds and we're at what 847 horsepower on E85 and 940 newton meters of torque um, which is pretty good for um, the combination that we're running um, yeah so yeah basically we started off so um, stock power we're at 341 horsepower and 365 newton meters of torque and we've ended up with a 575 newton meter gain so here and with a 505 horsepower gain okay which and is pretty with a still standard bottom end um slightly larger cams and yeah slightly bigger turbo again and massive injectors and big injectors yeah so yeah so with the Heltec from the standard one we went up to about 450 horsepower um where we ran the fuel system out of its maximum capacity um, the injectors were at 98 percent or something when we pulled it up today with the new turbo and bigger fuel system we ended up at 604 horsepower um on 98 on 98 with uh that was 22 pounds of boost um and we ended up at where are we here yeah 662 newton meters um yeah so running yeah so this original run that was on 14 pounds I should say too, um, and then which is where the stock injection system ran out, um, and then we're up 22 pounds here where we'll leave it on 98, um, and then we've gone 
So any reason that you want to leave it at 22 for 98? Oh, I just, it's, a, it's got a flex tune. I don't see the point in pushing uh, 98, Matt, when you've got E85 and you can gain. Um, so now I'll run it, so I'll bring up. So same boost on E85. So this is 98 back to back with E85. E85, we had 84 horsepower gain on Just the same, same on boost. Same boost. Yep. Um, and yeah, and eight, same 85 newton meters of torque gain just from 98 to 85. And is that more ignition? A little bit more ignition, a lot more fuel. Um, yeah, just more efficient. Okay. Easy horsepower. Easy. And then uh, the last run, I guess, just. Yeah, so we, and then from that, so we went up, we went up to just over almost 34 pounds, so 3.8 psi, I think we ended up at. Um, and again, this, the bottom end still standard on this motor. Um, so yeah, we still, it was another, so with say 10 pounds of boost is another 160 horsepower and another almost 200 newton meters of torque, which is very good gain for what yeah. it is. And I think that uh, 33 is about the most you'd want to run on a stock motor. Yeah, yeah, we'll back that off. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good on paper, but yeah, for longevity, I'll personally, yeah. We'll run about 27, 28 pounds max. 36. <laughs> yeah. But no, all in all, really good results. Cool. All right, thanks for that. Cool. No all problem. right, now, now uh, time to do this one. Yeah, thanks. This one's four-wheel drive. Aren't you glad that Supra's are only two-wheel drive? Yes. All right, so now that we've done this Supra, this is next up. Uh, and we got e-tuners here. And they're going to have a play with it and see if they can get an extra 500 horsepower out of this. What do you reckon? Nah, no, definitely not. <laughs> a lot of torque. A lot of torque. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs>